they used to be whiskey and cigarettes. Um, <laughs> and now it's herbal tea. When I was in New England, I lived near William Styron, and you know who, who wrote, you know, won the Pulitzer Prize for the Confessions of Nat Turner. But, but he. He started writing at six o'clock in the evening. <laughs> it's like, seriously, that's like, I'm ready to go to bed. I mean, I thought, my God, you know, it's just like, I, I have to do it like in the morning. Time of day, it, it really depends on what I'm writing um, or if like something strikes me. Um, if I'm working on a script, I'll work on it five to seven days a week and I'll work on a little bit each day so that it doesn't become like cold oatmeal and then it's hard to get back into it. I never try to um, give myself like a time limit or um, be like, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna write till then. Like, that's never really how I work. It's usually, I just have to get to a point where it's settled in me and then I'm like, okay, I'm good. The, the amateur says, I'm going on vacation and I'm taking my 500 pages and gonna write my novel. No, you're not. If you don't write your novel with a, right now, you're not gonna write it on vacation. You, you either do it or you don't do it. Usually, I prefer to be alone um, completely. Um, I try and do it every day. I'm not working on anything at the moment, so I'm not writing every day. When I do start working on something, um, I just pull up a blank Word document and just start typing and let it free flow, just to start getting ideas on the page. I mean, Balzac went up to his, his you know, yeah, the top of his house, he had 11 children and he worked all day in the insurance industry and, you know, and, and wrote, you know, a dozen novels. I mean, you just, you just do it. I've always been a fan of film composers because film music is full of emotion. And when I'm writing, I want to be in an emotional state and music helps me get there because music evokes memories, music evokes feelings, music provokes feelings. So to get in that kind of mindset, to be able to to be in touch with myself, my inner self, and get that on paper, I listen to music. I usually have some sort of instrumental music on um, that I like to, you know, whatever kind of fits the mood of what I'm writing. If I find a particular piece of music that to me feels correct for the story, that kind of sums up the overall feeling of the story, every time I sit down to write, put on that music to start. Eventually, it's like Pavlov's dog. All I have to do is hear that music and I'm right back in the story. So then I'm not spending two or three hours trying to get in the groove, as we say. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the groove, I'm in the moment, the moment I hear that music.